So, Sukaro. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, <laughs> thank okay. you. Good. Before we talk about Black Cat, I'd yeah. like to go back a little bit. Well, you fell in love with uh, blues and soul music, music when you were around 12, 13. Yes, exactly. What struck you about this music? The rhythm, the um, the way that they was singing, mm -hmm. <coughs> the fact that uh, they, um, I mean, um, is a music that has got a lot of uh, uh, ingredients, like, mm -hmm. uh, you know, happiness and sadness, melancholy, sensuality. Sure. Uh, I grew up with, you know, listening uh, Ray Charles, uh, Aretha Franklin, Otis Redding, and and I just uh, thought, oh, this music is is good for me. <laughs> Before you discovered this music, what role did music play in your life? Was there a lot of Italian music around when you grew up? Yeah, of course. There, there was uh, a lot of uh, Italian music, uh, melodic mainly, uh, and uh, or there was a beat, uh, the beat uh, uh, era with uh, mm. uh, a lot of bands that they, they, they used to do covers m mainly, you know, from L Radio Luxembourg. They listen to uh, this music and they, they cover this music. Uh, uh, and and there was a, a great band at the time, you know, and uh, I and that 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 time was good for for music, uh, yeah. for the beat, uh, for the um, for the bands. There was a lot of uh, a lot of uh, of uh, a lot of um, inspiration mm. around. The vibe was good, and. So this inspiration that, that was around, that, did you know when you heard this that you wanted to make music as well? I, I was a football player as, uh, you know, like, like any kids and, uh, and, uh, and I was a goalkeeper. Okay. <laughs> were were you any good? Uh, they say that I was very, as you say, very courageous okay. with a lot of courage. Sure. You know? right. But um, but then I, I was with my father and I saw in a store a guitar, yellow guitar, yellow and black, very cheap one. But I fall in love mm. of uh, the guitar and I want to have this guitar. And then, since then, I, I, I stopped to, to play football and I start to play <laughs> guitar. Did it take long before you started writing your own songs? Uh, not so much because I remember I had a tape in my uh, w in my studio that I keep like uh, uh, memorabilia. Sure, sure. That uh, I was around 16 years old when I write uh, the first uh, I call C LP LP, but you mm. know. No, nobody want to. I didn't have the record company, so it's still a, a tape mm. with a guitar and and voice only. And I and I and I was around 16 years old. When was the last time you listened to this? Uh, but yeah, I not so much. It was not so long. Five years ago, okay. I was listening. And then I printed, it, uh, you know, because I'm worried that the tape g get, uh, mm. you know, very old. And uh, I printed on uh, on CD and, and and on the computer, so I know that is there still. W when you hear that, and you hear your young self uh, playing guitar and just singing, mm. can you hear what you wanted to do or where where it would go? No, it was not uh, blues. It wasn't okay. uh, rhythm and blues. It was more like a um, kind of uh, American country style, mm. just guitar and voice okay. ballads ma mainly, you know. Mm. Uh, because probably, you know, just with the guitar and voice, I was uh, writing just with the guitar and voice uh, is, is, is more 
is more obvious to do ballads probably. Mm -hmm. But um, I think there there was uh, when I was listening this there was sti uh, there are still uh, now there was already something innocent mm -hmm. but good. And well, you mentioned the word innocence, mm -hmm. and I believe on on Black Cat, your new album, yeah, you wanted to go back to that innocence or, or to that. I, I try to, you mm -hmm. know, I try to go back. Uh, to the freedom of of writing, uh, without uh, without watching too much what's going on uh, on in, on, re on radio, for example, or in the media thing. Uh, I, I didn't want to do an album a la moda. I, I just sure. want to do what I feel and and uh, and remember me when I was writing the first two albums, Blues and Orange and Sibira. Mm -hmm. But probably because I got nothing to lose at the time, I was more, more, more free and more, more wild in a way, mm -hmm. without thinking too much. Was it difficult then to go back to that mentality? Mm, I just, you know, y y yeah, it's a process, but you have to remember how uh, the, the song was coming and uh, and. Uh, be free. I mean, mm. if you have something, maybe starting from a phrase or from from a, uh, a very simple accord or or sequence of accords, and then uh, without you know to 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 be more too sophisticated. Mm. So and uh, I, the writing of this album was uh, was uh, was uh, quite easy. Okay. Even if it takes six months, because I wrote forty songs, mm. and then at the end we choose only twelve. But uh, but the, the 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 lot a lot of work was was done also with the producer in studio, with the musician to find the, the sound mm. that um, that is 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 not. Uh, is 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 the most black album that I did, you know, the, the, uh, thinking about the New Orleans, thinking about Memphis, uh, Nashville, uh, this kind of dirty sound mm -hmm. uh, with uh, black musicians and and. Uh, but the, but but with Italian uh, me melody, you sure. know. Th so this is, and with three great producers uh, together, they work on this album, b uh, like Don Walls, Brendan O'Brien, and T. Burn T. Burn Burnett. Mm. Gr you know, they know. They we we and um, we meet each other before to start the recording session and. We understand what I want. They understand what I want. Yeah. Did, did you know before uh, starting uh, work in the uh, studio what the sound would be or what you wanted for the yeah, sound? Yeah. Yeah. Because I did a tour in the uh, in 2014, a mm. long tour in America, especially in the in the south uh -huh. of the states, mm. and uh, in a sleeping bus, like in the old days. And I and I had the time to stop and see and watch and feel and 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 uh, listen a lot of music uh, and then I come back home <coughs> and I start to see movie like uh, movies like uh, Twelve Years Slave or The Color Purple right. or Django from sure. Tarantino and I I imagine the plantations with the slaves and I start to think about the the prison song mm. the chains became like a rhythm and the the guitar very rudiment, rudimental guitar with mm. the with the bottle uh, Slide. neck yeah. you know like this and then the gasoline uh, come si dice Tank, mm. like a, a, a drum, no? sure. like a bass drum, mm. and I start to uh, find the, the, the sound of the album, uh, and then regarding the um, the subject of the lyrics, mm. 
I, 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 I realized that um, it did, uh, the, the world doesn't, didn't change so much from the slave <laughs> era, mm. slave era. You know, we still have the, the padroni, the master, and we still have, we still have the new slaves. Mm. That is this uh, exodus, and so mm, I, 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 that was the, the the big picture of the album. Mm. Then I start to write. What was the first song you wrote? The first song was the the song that I did with Bono, okay. uh, "Streets of Surrender." Okay. Uh, at the I I was in my studio at the piano, and it came very, very easily, you know. Then uh, a few days after Bono was in Italy for the tour, his tour, mm -hmm. and I went to see him and I gave him the music. And, and then, and then I, 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 he keep going on tour and I didn't hear for one month, more than one month, what's going on. And, uh, and then one night he called me up and said, uh, I'm in Paris, and uh, a few days after the attack, mm -hmm. and I think I wanna, you know, I wanna write about that. And, uh, and he did a great lyrics, uh, mentioning Paris, but it's more universal. 